morning and welcome to the Breastplate Prayer Morning Devotional. I'm your host, Bishop Larry Jackson. If you are a person who's been looking for practical, to-the-point teaching and you really haven't been able to find what you're looking for, I promise you, you've come to the right place. Um, it will be my pleasure to spend just a few moments with you um, to discuss vital topics to your growth in God. We will do this on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So just think of the T's and <laughs> you are there. And we will discuss what does it mean to be a priest of the Lord, a New Testament priest. Now, this topic of priesthood, it opens up the entire Bible. So every subject can be talked about from a priestly perspective. But we're going to make sure that we hone in and the instructions that you will receive will help you to advance your life. Okay. This topic is found in the Old Testament, New Testament, and I'm going to do my very best to help to weave together the New Testament, Old Testament reality concerning the priesthood. All I'm asking from you is that you tune in on Tuesdays and Thursdays and stay engaged with me because I believe it's going to be a time of information, but also inspiration. Because what I'm finding is there are a lot of people who want a better life in Christ. And for some reason, they don't know where to start. Then there are others who are seasoned in God and they've studied the scriptures and they pray and they give and they are engaged in their local assembly and they want to go deeper into the things of God. Well, the subject of the priesthood actually handles both. It will talk to that person that want a better life, but also that person who said, I have a better life, I have a life in Christ, but I want to go a little deeper. And I believe that I've been assigned in this hour to help the body of Christ understand this. We, we've been told for years that we are priests. Um, the Bible declares it in 1 Peter. It says that we are royal priesthood. Matter of fact, it starts out says that we are chosen generation. Then it says we are royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. We are a peculiar people. And it says we are all that to show forth the praise of him who has called us out of darkness. Now, we've been called out of darkness. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9 is what I just quoted. But that scripture has all of those, those parts to it. Again, chosen generation, royal priest, holy nation, peculiar people. Now, each of those are important because you can't lump it all together and just keep going. You've got to deal with your chosen. You've got to deal with the fact that you are royal. That's kingly. You are a kingly priest. Now, what does that mean? You are a kingly priest. And then, in order to be this royal priest, you need to be holy. The Bible says that be holy even as I am holy, says the Lord. On Aaron's forehead, Aaron who was the high priest of Israel in the Old Testament, as um, he served the Lord in that office, there was a mitre on his head. He had the, the mitre and on there, the forehead was holy unto the Lord, in gold, across his forehead, holy unto the Lord, set apart. And it says that not only that, we are this treasure, peculiar treasure unto the Lord. We are a peculiar people. That means special. That means unique, um, belonging to him and only him. You are that to the Lord. Now, once you understand that, and you understand also that God has set forth the priesthood in the earth 
so that you could be blessed of God. It is a phenomenal thing. And so we're going to start talking about the function of the priesthood in the next session. But I thank you for taking time to be a part of this one as we start these morning devotionals, Breastplate Prayer Morning Devotionals. Hey, listen, go to my website, bishoplarryjackson.com to get f more information on everything that we're doing and all the resources that we have to bless your life. God bless you. Have a great one. Talk to you soon.